their big showing in the South Center. All the cars driving around out there. Lots of people in here. Test driving. Excuse me. So, folks, thanks. So, this is the battery room. This microphone is working sporadically. My name is Dylan. I will be giving you your, your short uh, 8 12 minute tour because I do know you want to get to that test drive. This is a, a fantastic experience for a select few individuals to actually test drive the uh, the first mass-produced electric vehicle from Nissan. What you're looking at here is the battery pack. So it's hermetically sealed inside this container. You'll probably never see this again because it's stored underneath the floor of your Nissan LEAF. So take a good look, take pictures, put it on your Christmas card. We've got a quick video um, of the LEAF right here. So this will explain some of the battery technology in the vehicle. Watch carefully. There is a quiz after this, young man. Nissan LEAF stores its energy in 48 lithium-ion battery modules. Inside each module are four battery cells. Their advanced laminated design allows them to fit snugly under the LEAF floorboards. This doesn't just optimize cabin space, it also gives the LEAF a low center of gravity for seriously fun handling. Uh, you should come in or the iPhones. The iPhones have an app. Of course, we have an app for that. Uh, the car wing system, which is our telecommunication system on every LEAF, allows the LEAF to communicate with the internet. Essentially, you can communicate with your car via an internet connection. So if you have a phone that has a, a web-enabled uh, phone, you can actually communicate with your car. You can program your car to start charging, to stop charging, to start heating up, to start cooling down from an internet connection. If you don't have an internet connection, if you're a Luddite, you can simply program the car to do this from the navigation screen. Okay, so you have a couple options of doing that. Uh, so the iPhone right now has an app that tells you basically your vital statistics of the car. Right now it looks like how many miles do you have before it's out of charge? Um, 46 miles. Excellent. How long is it going to take to reach its 100% 100, 100 mile charge? Four hours and 30 minutes. Excellent. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so that's basically your vital information there. Now, if you wanted to um, set the, the, the climate control, you can see how the uh, fan is now spinning. While your car is plugged in, or even if it's not plugged in, you can actually set the heater or the climate control to turn on. So in anticipation of a brisk morning, you can warm your car up while it's plugged in in your garage. That way when you unplug it, you've got 100 miles and the car's already warmed up. All right. So by using electricity from the grid while the car's plugged in, you're extending your range. So you use electricity to heat the car up, you unplug it, you got 100 miles. It's a lot easier to maintain that cabin temperature than it is to warm it up after you've unplugged. Okay. You can also do this while the car is in the parking lot without being plugged in, but what's going to supply the energy to heat the car at that point? 
battery. Mass. Walking out to the car, finally. They'll have California license plates on them. Lockets back into place. To turn the car on, this is important. <coughs> Put your foot on the brake. You see that white button right there? There's a white button that's the starter button. Press that once. The car is now on. The car is on. You hear that? It's because there's nothing to hear. The engine isn't spinning. At idle, the car isn't using all electricity. Coming in, DC. Coming into it, you need something to cool down that high power. Okay. So we've got coolant going around the charge port. The inverter, high power electric going through a small area, so that is also coolant. So it's pumps for that, and there's probably heat exchangers for that. Yes, and also the motor. You're at such a high RPM when that motor is spinning, you need a coolant jacket around the motor to help cool that okay. down. Body panels are all steel. Yes. Seems strange that you got a 12 volt battery in there instead of a DC to DC off the main pack. Not at all because the solar panel charges this battery and all your low voltage comes off DC. Yep. LEC. I know, I know. People take it off, so I took it off already. Yeah. Just, are you driving first? No. No, he is. Yeah, it doesn't driving. matter. Both of them can go then. Okay. Yeah. Just give me yours too. Yeah. You're. Yeah, and then, you're yeah, our and she's Dana. Gonna drive after Dana. Me. Alrighty. And Rob. Yeah, so she's gonna drive after me. Okay. So if uh, you can get in the driver's seat, and then Dana. Back. In the back seat. Can you kiss her? Yep. So you're oh. our Nissan Sherpa. There you go. You're, you're the leading us up the. Electric Hill. <laughs> <laughs> so, the drive is down, right? Yeah, you're way in then down. There you go. Okay. Can you release? So, how can I tell when it's set to go forward? Uh, D. You got the D up there? D, where's. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, then you release the brake and start coasting towards start. the steering turns very easily as electric does. steering uh -huh. and then the brakes are quite grabby there for disc brakes oh well, yeah you're right yeah, that is that's really good yeah, it's, got, it's, it's quick you can tell mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll take a ride coming out of here 
And let's just maintain speed in the parking lot. Sure. Security doesn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <Speed him. laughs> yeah, no, yeah. And then we'll go on the road and I'll uh, you'll have an opportunity to give it some juice. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've been waiting to drive one of these for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice car. Yeah, you get to ride in them all day. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so at this stop you're gonna continue going straight. Okay. And I'll put it in eco mode for you right now. So, so could, it's just copying the same direction you did in drive. So it's a toggle. If I do it again, it's going to go back and drive. It's a shift on the go. I just did it for you so I don't distract you. So, so that's the eco mode right there. Okay, so it just starts up slower, right? Well, it just gives you retention. So you keep going yeah, just keep on going and take a right at the stop. It gives you retention and it gives you about 10% more miles. Oh, it does. If I switch it back to drive, you can drop down to 50 miles for 55 and you can kind of lead foot the accelerator. Okay, so I've got a range of right there, 50. 50 miles. And I put an eco, it goes to 55. Okay, and that's... I switch it back, it goes to drive. Okay, that's a couple miles. Yep. So if you want to give us some juice here when you take off, I yep. would like to. Yeah. Um, and you let all the computerization come on, and then normally you'd wait for the OK and the decline, and then you're going to press OK on the navigation right there. Nice. And that brings that up. Okay. Oh, this is so exciting. Yeah. And then just With your foot on the brake, you pull this your way, and back, and release it. And then release it. And that puts it in D. You got oh, a light there, D. and also a drive, a D over there. Oh, Third. yes. Yep. And then and let's proceed for the start. If before this guy goes. Yeah. I'll wait for red. I just love it. So, do you people that are test driving today that are not on that reservation list or? Uh, yeah, walk ins, there is. Oh, is there? They do allow yeah. some walk ins. There's some people that just like, oh, we just saw it, let's pull in. <laughs> but oh. the re reservation people are the ones who are lucky because they're actually getting it. <laughs> yes! Yeah. So, they say, like, yeah, December. In December. It's going to start coming out in December. <gasps> yeah. Do you have yours all settled or are you just. Mine? Not, you're not ready. <laughs> I didn't even get it. I didn't get a chance. I'd be interested oh. just because I don't do that much city driving. Yeah. Because these are great for city driving. Oh, yeah. I live more out towards uh, the, you know, where you need to drive a little bit more. So, are you Far. Washington or are you. Yeah. You travel with. Yeah. Five electric tour. Very cool. We're all turned on the stereo. Yeah. Playing around with all the accessories. Just see how they all work. So I wonder what this is. Off. Oh. Dim, light dim on the dash. And the off sound is the next one over. Oh, it's the sound maybe that the oh, vehicle the car makes. makes. You can turn it off, I like that. <laughs> What's that? That looks like a plug. Uh, is it an electrical outlet? Trip? Oh, okay. Okay, so that, that changes your trip meter. Oh. What kind of devices do you have on the steering wheel here? You got the uh, voice. Would you like to access phone or navigation? Phone. There is no phone connected. Push the phone switch to connect a phone. Oh, wow. That's a pleasant voice. That's the that's the Windows embedded technology there. Oh, it'll Microsoft. 